This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hello everybody, it's Grim Cookies. Welcome back to, finally, my cast review for Eco Lifestyle. Now I know I am super late getting this one up and there has been reviews up for weeks at this point, but I'm hoping you guys waited for me because I am i haven't looked at anything yet, I haven't watched a single review, I'm going in completely blind, and there's a lot to go through apparently, so thought I'd just jump straight in. I'm here with two of my sims from my upcoming Eco Lifestyle Let's Play, and um, we've got Lilabella Dooney and also Emmett Humphrey. They've got some pretty interesting backstories, I'm going to do a whole video about it, so stay tuned for that as well, it's going to be really fun. But basically, we'll start off with the aspirations and the traits. So the first one we've got here, Eco Innovator. This sim wants to build a better, greener community. I really like that, that's the one I've given to Lilabella. Her traits are Green Fiend, these sims are happiest when living on a green street and will continuously work towards making their environment more eco-friendly. She's also a vegetarian, that one is not part of the pack, but it's just a, a trait that I gave her. Um, and she's also a maker, these sims become happy when making things, they become sad when it's been too long since completing a project on the fabricator, candle making station, juice fizzer, or woodworking table. They do not receive negative effects from crafting or repair failures. Over on Emmett, I've got the other aspiration, which is Master Maker. This sim wants to become an expert at fabrication, which sounds fun. Um, he's got the, the maker trait that Lil Bella had, and he's also a Freegan. Ah. These sims reject consumerism and prefer to reduce wasteful spending by any means. They enjoy finding reused or thrown away goods and foods. In fact, they have the best luck at finding the highest quality treasures in dumpsters. They may become tense or uncomfortable if they spend too much time <laughs> earning or spending simoleons. Sounds, sounds sounds like some juicy gameplay. Um, and also, Recycle Disciple. These sims are rabid recyclers that benefit from recycling and rummaging for bits and pieces, but should they go too long without indulging in their hobby, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Those are our new traits and aspirations. There are a couple more that are like unlock traits if you complete aspirations or careers, etc. So, um... Those ones I'll leave for you guys to find in your own gameplay, but we'll jump straight into the the game assets. Basically, I'll start with hairs because whew, there is a lot. Okay, so I've got one on her right now, but we'll start at the top and work our way down. This one is very, very cute. I wish the fringe was a bit longer, but I do understand why it's cut there because I, I quite like the look. I quite like the look. It's very, um, uh, it's romantic. I don't know, it's cute. And this next one is a very simple ponytail with some braids it reminds me of a couple of custom content hairs i've seen around it's it's very high quality i've got to say these hairs look amazing this this little space buns this is all i've wanted for so long this hair is so cute um i'm gonna use this on like every single sim i have because oh it's got that beautiful middle part and then a little a little fringe i absolutely love it i wish we had a version without the fringe as well because the only other space buns we have are from like the base game and they're like mad ugly. Let me try and see if I can find them. Um, let me have a look. Okay, it's not in that one. I should have taken my custom content out. These ones are the ones I was thinking of. I hate them. They're so gross. Not my thing. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, yeah, very cute. I love them. This next style, is it's got this, like, peg clip in the bun, which I absolutely love. It's so, so cute. I will say the forehead seems to be a bit high up. Um, it's, like, a fair bit higher than other hairs, but, you know what, it's not, it's not the end of the world. Um, this next one, I quite like this hair. I don't know how I feel about the feathers. Like, the feather braiding, I'm not sure what it is, or if it's, like, a real-life thing. Maybe I'm, like, just missing some info, but stylistically, I'm, I'm not sure I like the look of them. I probably would have preferred a hair just like plain, but it's fine. Um, this next one is quite possibly my favorite. It's like double ponytail braid. Like <laughs> again, this reminds me of a custom content hair that has been around forever. And I was in love with that and I'm in love with this. It's just really cute. This next hair is probably my least favorite, I've got to say, because I don't really use the shaved undercut styles on my Sims all that much, but it is very, very, very well made. It looks, it's very cute. I just personally wouldn't use it a lot. Now, this next one is so adorable. I love the little tuff of like hair at the back there. Um, let me put it in a lighter swatch so you can see the detail a bit better because it's so adorable. I love it. I love how it like all comes together at the front to this little point. It's um, it's very cute. 
Uh, this next hair is the one that I had on her had on her in the beginning, and it's it's just so gorgeous and romantic, and like it's it's a good hair. I'm a fan. So we've got a short choppy style here. Again, I very like. I love the shape of this one. I like how it has a bit of volume in the back. It's like it's a very nice pixie cut. Um, it's yeah, it's it's that perfect combo between like messy and neat. It's very realistic. This next hair is um, it's nice. I've got it on my male sim there. I've got it on Emmett. Um, I, I quite like it on male sims, but not so much on female sims. Um, I think this pixie cut is a lot more flattering. Now this next one is amazing. I love this hair. It's um, it's proper gorgeous. It's it's very, very nice. I I just don't have anything negative to say about it, other than the fact that the texture is a little bit crunchy. But on a hair this detailed, I'm I'm guessing they didn't have a lot of space to work with on the texture map, and they had to make some sacrifices. But I think it's gorgeous. I love it. I love the style of it. It's very pretty. Okay, so that is the hairs for females. Now let's get into the clothing. There is so much to go over. Oh, this is going to be a long review. I hope you guys stick around. So let's start with this one. I love this blouse. It's so cute. I'm going to use it all the time. I love how it's just got that one clip holding it together and like it's got a really low neckline. It's very, it's very um, classy, but it's also like a little bit, um, it's not too reserved, if you know what I mean. It's classy, but um, still very modern. This jacket is absolutely gorgeous. I love the fishnets. I really hope that comes in some plain swatches, the jacket. Let me have a look. Oh my God, it doesn't. That's devastating. I would have loved just like a camo color, like a camouflage swatch, like all black, all, all camo green. Um, oh, that's such a shame because I would have used the hell out of that. Okay, it's still a very nice jacket. Very nice jacket. This is probably one of my least favorite ones. The swatch colors are, are gorgeous. I love the colors on it. It's just, um, to me, the shape of it is too close to, ju to jumpers that we have already had in the game. Um, but it's, it is still is very, very gorgeous. I oh. love this swatch so much. It's so pretty. This one, okay, let me see how I feel about this. Um, okay. Oh, I thought that was just a different... I thought that was just like a... Okay, it's actually cut out. That's a shoulder. I thought that was just like a patch of another color on the jacket. Okay, it kind of looks like homemade. That's the vibes I'm getting for it. I don't hate it now that I feel like I get it a bit more. I get the concept, you know? Hmm. Like it's it's been made. Yeah, okay. I like it. I like it. Um... Okay... Um, I don't hate this. I would have liked it without this top underneath, though. I think I would have preferred that. However, your boy is doing a custom content add-on pack for this expansion, and I know that that's going to be something that I'm going to do. I'm going to take that top off and just have it like a cropped jumper because it's very cute. Um, so that's, that's still fine. I love that. This denim vest is hella cute. I am not a big denim person, and a lot of these swatches are not doing it for me. They're multi-tones. But the more traditional blue denim, I love. I love it. I think it's very, very chic. Okay. Oh, this is very like, um, it's like modern, um, like, what's that word for athletic wear slash fashion? I can't think of it at the moment. Athleisure. Is it? I don't know. Um, anyway, that, I love it. I love that one. This one is, um... I like that it's a turtleneck, right? Um, because I always love love a good turtleneck in the game. Hmm. I'm not sure how I, I get that it's meant to be another jumper that kind of looks like a bit handmade, but I'm not liking that stitched thing there. Um, I love this jumper. I love it. I love that it looks like she's just thrown it on, and it's fitting. Like the fit on her is very realistic. It doesn't look like a you know, like a game jumper. It looks like an actual jumper. Somebody was just thrown on, like the way it falls on her body. I love that it has that rainbow. That makes me really happy. It is Pride Month. It's June. And I love to see that kind of content in the game. My Sims are going to be rocking that. Okay, this one's just another pretty simple, um, you know, knitted jumper. I, I quite like the swatches, actually. Yeah, I like that one. I like it. Um, this one kind of looks like somebody is about to go bungee jumping to me. 
So, um, nothing against it, but I probably wouldn't use it on my Sims every day. Like, I don't see, uh, there's nothing in the actual gameplay that would warrant my Sims wearing this, I don't think. So maybe if they're going on using the rock climbing wall, but again, I don't, I don't know. It's nice though. Like it looks good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense to me. There are a bit too many layers going on here. So it's, it's meant to be another one of those stitched together items I'm guessing. I'm trying to just like, okay. So there's a white t-shirt under it, but these white sleeves are part of the jacket. I don't understand the denim. If the denim was stitched together with the black fabric there, it wouldn't have that fraying. That fraying would be sewn under. Yeah. So that doesn't actually make sense to me. Like the physics of it. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, it's, it's not bad. I really would have preferred all denim, to be honest, because we don't have an all denim bomber, bomber jacket. It's, it's it's fine, though. This one's cute. I know I just said with this top that I don't see any, like, practical use for fashion of this style. And this, like, falls into the same category. It looks like something someone wear snowboarding or, or like, bungee jumping or something like that. Hmm. But something about these arms cutting off there and, like, the, the faux turtleneck is very cute the fashion of it i see a lot of custom content potential with the mesh on this one so i'm i'm happy this is probably my favorite i'm thinking i know it's very simple but i love that detailing there like the tag you would have on real life jumpers it's like ah oh, yep i like it not a lot of the swatch colors are jumping out at me but i especially like this first swatch it's very nice um this top hmm Okay, it looks really good. And oh, I love that. That's gorgeous. Oh. I like it a lot more in the darker tones. Oh, this orange is so pretty. I am a hoe for mustard. Like the condiment and the color. That's gorgeous. Um, oh, oof. This one not so much. Um, these sleeves are really pretty. I wish we had gotten that pink top that's underneath by itself. Because I, I love that collar. I don't feel like we have many um, tops in the game that have like a collar like that buttoned all the way up. Especially with these sleeves. It looks like it would, it would have been really pretty. Because I really don't like that t-shirt that's on top of it. I think the texture looks ugly and the patterns. Not for me. Not for me. I'm sure other people will like it. I like this one. It's very like modern um, like streetwear. I love that. It's cute. I would wear this in real life, TBH. I wouldn't look good in it, but I'd wear it. Um, oh, I like this. I like this one. It's maybe just a tad too long. What's it look like with like pants? Yeah, I'm not, oh no, it looks a little bit better with some tight. Yeah, okay, we'll we'll give that one a yes. They didn't need that white there though. They could have just stopped it where the, where the jumper ends and it would have been better. Now this top is absolutely stunning. We love this. This is proper gorgeous. Um, oh my God, the swatches. I wish we could have, would have got a mustard color, but I'll take the yellow. Um, I really love this top. I love it. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Hmm. Gorgeous. Um, this, I'm um, eh on. Eh. <laughs> Sorry if you guys came for a more in-depth commentary than eh, but that's all I've, that's all I've got for you. Okay. On to the full body. I like this. I like it. At first I was like, oh, I don't like the top, but I can, I can separate it. And it's going to be really pretty on its own. I guarantee you. It is really pretty now. I very much like that one. It looks like warm, but it, like you could wear it in winter. This is, yes, this is a yes for me. Took me a second, but it's a yes. Um, ooh, I like this. I like this. I like how it doesn't have a belt. I feel like it would have been really easy for them to put a belt on there, but I like that it doesn't have one. Hmm. Oh, wow. I really love these two swatches. 
That's gorgeous. Okay. At first I was like, oh, but then I saw this. Nah, they're proper gorgeous. Proper gorgeous. This is stunning. This is so pretty. This is lo this looks like something Ridgebot would make. Oh, wow. I love that. I love that. Oh, my God. These patterns. Wow. Okay. Wow. They really came through with the Creator Sim styles in this pack, did that, didn't they? Um, that's stunning. Uh -huh. Yes. 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 If this was... Um, if this was, like, Project Runway or something, I would be like, 10 out of 10, you win. Hmm. This reminds me of that um, dress that we got with Discover University, sort of. It's very different, but it reminds me of it. Um, I really like this. Yeah, this is good. This is good. This is yes for me. Again, this top underneath looks so pretty. I really want a buttoned up top like that on its own. It's so nice. I love to see it. I love to see it. This one we saw quite a bit in the trailers and I wasn't liking the look of it then, but you know what? I like it. I think, oh, that's, that's a nice swatch. The red is so smooth. I love that texture. That's really pretty. We like it. We like it. Now these pants are looking, oh, quite nice. Yeah, I like these. I'm not keen on the swatches though. Yeah, I mean, it's a really pretty um, pant, but we don't even have an all black swatch. Sad. Mm -hmm. This skirt is nice. It's gorgeous. It looks very familiar to me, though. Do we already have something really similar to this? Or maybe in the custom content world we do. But I'm thinking, like, I feel like I saw this recently. Oh, I like this. I wish it had a bit more of a denim texture. Because it looks like it's meant to be denim, but it's too smooth to be denim. Still really pretty, though. I love this. I saw this on somebody else's thumbnail today, and I was like, wait, what? That doesn't make sense. But it's a... It's a... Um, it's a... What's it called? We don't have one, but, you know, uh, overalls. But they're, like, down. Like, they're not over the Sims body. I really love that. I really love it. That's gorgeous. I wish... I wish we had the exact same thing, but all the way up as well. Would have been really nice. Mm -hmm. um, these shorts are really pretty. They look like something you'd wear to bed, like pajama shorts. <sighs> Here we go. This is the, the piece. This is the piece that got everybody talking. The controversial denim on denim, skirt on jean combo. It is atrociously hideous i hate it i am never putting this on any of my sims however it does look like it was made really well and it's perfect for the sort of sim that would wear something that's really ugly if you've got a character that's living around town that like maybe doesn't care about fashion or is somebody that on per like purposely likes to wear things that people don't consider fashionable it's perfect for them. So I'm glad they included it, but it, it is pretty, it's not, um, it's just not, not 2020 fashion. These pants are hideous. And when I say hideous, I don't mean like they were made hideously. I mean the style of them. Um, like the sewn, oh, it's so unflattering. It's like, I, I like them though. Like I'm not going to put them on, in, on, on my Sims, but Sims around town. Oh, God, I hope townies don't spawn in this. It looks like horse riding pants. These are really pretty. I love these. 10 out of 10. I bet you townies weren't spawning these. I bet you they'll all show up in these. I bet you. Um, these look like... They sit way too low. They look like they were made for the masculine frame. For, for male sims. Um, to me. Because they're just not sitting right on the female frame. These shorts are cute. Um, to me, though, these color combinations, and this might be a bit controversial, so um, apologies if this offends anyone, but from a distance, they very much look like the American flag to me, and in my opinion, I don't think The Sims should put flags of real-life countries in the game. Um, 
because I like the fact that you could assume it's any country. If you live in England, you could assume that you're playing in England. If you're, you know, Australian like I am, you could imagine it's Australian. If you're American, you could imagine it's American, etc. Um, I, like, I know it's not actually the American flag, but it looks like it from a distance because you, like, see shorts around exactly like this that have the American flag pattern on them. Um, and they just very much look like it to me, and... I'm just not big on that because it kind of breaks the immersion of The Sims being its own separate world from the real life one, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. This skirt is, um, the texture's very flat. Um, I'm not sure I like it. And those squares look weird to me. Um, yeah, I'm not big on this one, sorry. These pants, um, yeah, yeah, no, I like them, I like them. Yeah, they, they're not they're not the worst. I don't like the white piping. I wish it was more like this swatch where it was darker, but it's 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 nice. These jeans are very nice. Um, this is what I prefer. I prefer that like the if you're gonna put colors and patterns on them, this is what looks good rather than I know they're very similar, but this one with the red and blue looks like the American flag, whereas this one just has the red doesn't. Um, so I think that is a better alternative. I feel like they should have done that with this. I feel like it should have been all red or all blue. <laughs> I'm not saying that the American flag is bad or it shouldn't be in the game. Like, custom content-wise, if you want to download that, I feel like it's great. But for me, I, like, I don't want, um, I like that The Sims is not, because I know it's, 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 it's America. Like, it is America. It's an American game made by American developers. Mm. But I like to imagine that The Sims is its own world if that makes sense. So, um, yeah. I like the jeans. These shorts are, are pretty. I wish they were a bit more high-waisted, but I like them. Um, the patches, the color combos are nice. I like that they've got different, I wish, like, I wish with these ones, the swatches were all different colors, these extra colors, like, rather than the red and blue, which I was just talking about how I don't like. I wish they were all different colors, like this one. Like each swatch, the patches are different are different colors. Mm. That looks good. that looks nice. Um, these pants are like snowboarding pants. Are we getting snowboarding? Is there snowboarding eco lifestyle? There's not, but um, I wish there was. I actually quite like them. I actually quite like them. I know I was saying earlier with that other top that um that I, f I saw no use for this in game and I guess it kind of matches these pants, but I like the pants is fashion wear. Okay. Accessories. We've just got one little bracelet. It's nothing special. It's just like a recycled bracelet from like a, a soda can. So yeah. Now these shoes are so nice. I love them so much. They're so pretty. I'm going to use these all the time. Love them. 10 out of 10. Same with these. Same with all the shoes actually. They are proper gorgeous. I love these ones. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. We love to see it. Moving on to male sims. I'm here with my boy Emmett. He's got some custom content tattoos on. I feel like they're a bit distracting. Let's take them off. Moving in with the hairs. We've got the same ones that we've seen on the female sims. This like short pushed forward style. This like wavy one that I was saying I didn't like on female sims. I think it looks perfect on male sims. It's gorgeous. And then that pixie cut one that I thought was really cute on female sims um i like it on male sims too so with tops we've got a lot of similar patterns designs i'm noticing this one very much looks like a um you know like a really af athletic guy you know he he rock climbs on the weekends he also owns a hedge fund <laughs> that's the vibe i get that makes no sense um this, is this the same top we had on female sims? I don't think it is. It's very, it cut very short. I'm not sure if I like that. Yeah, it's very short. I um, mean, yeah, it's fine. This is um a very nice jumper. I don't like how far it comes oh. down the shoulders. I don't feel like that's flattering on, on male sims. I feel like it will look good on some sims. Maybe not just not Emmett, because he's got really broad shoulders. It's very pretty, though. I like it. 
Ooh. Ooh, I love that all black. Ah. This one's really nice. I like that. This is that same jacket that we had in Female Sims I absolutely hated. This is gorgeous. I love this one. I like that. I like that. And then this is like another snowboarding look. There are a lot of um, athletic snowboarding, rock climbing type clothes in this pack. There are a lot, I'm noticing. Makes me curious. Huh. There's only one full body male outfit. It's this pair of overalls. I like these. I like them a lot. Got some shorts. Oh, I like the little detail in there. That looks good. These ones are nice. I don't feel like I'd use them a lot though. I don't like how long they are. Again, some more some more snowboarding pants for your sims that can't go snowboarding. These shorts look like every pair of shorts that guys wore before like 2007 IRL. I like the, the cut in the side. That looks very cool. The next, like, eight pairs of pants are all super similar to me. They're just, like, plain oh. pants. These are the ones that I th said earlier that looked like they're meant for male frames. Obviously, that was correct because they look a lot less squashed around the waist. Um, they look a lot nicer on male sims. There's some jeans, some some patchwork jeans. These, oh, I love these swatches. That looks really cool. Ooh. That looks really cool. These are those horse riding pants that I thought were absolutely atrocious. Um, yeah, nah, the no from me. Love these. Hmm. I, I actually do. I really like them. Another pair of shorts. I feel like we didn't need all these shorts. I feel like they all look the same. I like the all black though. It's nice. Same jeans that we saw on the female sims. I love them on the male sims again. Same pants again. Same pants again. These ones are just my favorite. They're actually so gorgeous. I love that. Oh, I love it. Okay, same bracelet and same shoes. These ones, I don't think these were on female sims. But they're nice, they're nice, they're nice. Okay, let's age. Oh, I was meant to age him down. On child sims, we've got two... Okay, let's take that off. We've got a couple of the hairs that we got for adults, which is awesome. I love that they started doing that. Especially this hair looks so good on child sims. Oh. Hold on. What is that? You guys seen this? Let's zoom in. You seen that... That... Um... Clipping in the mesh? That is what happens when you convert hairs down to child sims and you don't fix the mesh properly. As a custom content creator, I've run into this a lot, but it's weird being seen from EA's side of things. This hair doesn't have it, or it does a tiny little bit. Is this one? That's really disappointing. EA, get it together. Come on, that's not good. That doesn't look good at all. Um, I'm just trying to see if you can fix it by dragging the head shape. Nope. He looks silly. <coughs> well, that's a shame. Clothing wise, we've got a couple of, um, oh, I really like this one. That looks good. Let's go through the styled looks. Oh no, there are none. Okay. <coughs> so I've got a really dry throat now. I've been talking for half an hour straight. Okay. The pants, I've got no issues with them. Um, they do look good. No shoes, no accessories. Yeah, not bad. There isn't a lot, but it's not bad. Did we get any hairs for toddlers? No. Interesting. We got one top. Oh, no, two tops. I like both of these a lot. I like this one especially. That's really cute. Um, yeah, it's nice. Got a little set of overalls. They are adorable. I love them. Yep. And the pants too. They're really nice. No shoes. Okay. Well, that is everything unless I'm mistaken. Are there any hats? Oh, there are. Okay. We've got two hats. We've got this little... Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Yes. 
Yes. Love, love, love. Love in the black. I would have liked a red swatch though, but it's cute. It's cute. Um, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Lol. That one, just no comment. No comment. Mm -hmm. Um, accessories? Did we get accessories? I should have checked this before I started recording. Okay, we've got a few. We've got some more eye rings. Okay, they're nice, they're nice. Some nose rings. We've got a septum. Oh, I love that. That's gorgeous. I'm going to use that so much. Yay. I love that. I'm glad we got it. Some earrings. Let's just take that off. Um, she's only got that line on her head because of the custom content I've got on her, by the way. That's not an issue with the game. She has a birthmark too, if you were wondering. It's custom content. These earrings are gorgeous. We've got some, um, are they called gauges? Is that what they're called? These have been in the custom content community since The Sims was released in 2014. And I'm so glad that they've shipped them to base game because, oh, chef's kiss. We love them. Yep. That's good. We like to see that. Oh, these glasses are so cute. Oh my God. That swatch. Perfect. I love that. Oh my God. This is so cute. Look at her. This character doesn't have glasses, but I'm kind of considering giving them to her now because of how gorgeous she looks in them. We love, we love it. We love it. Okay. Wow. This is a long review. If you've watched the whole thing, thank you so much because that's a huge effort. Um, cause I know that this, like there, there have been reviews out for like three weeks already. So you've all probably already seen this stuff a million times. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Grim Cookies. You can check out more videos on my channel right now.